Finnovation. A quick news update. Go buy some merch, and I have an Instagram account. Finnovation Official. Go follow to that right now. Now into today's video. Last week, we made a pretty awesome Christmas duct tape reindeer head. And that was pretty cool. But the obvious question is... The obvious question is... It's Christmas. Is there a way to make it even better? Yes, there is. In this video, we are going to be making it kind of into an animatronic. So we're going to use some Adreno, some sensors, and some code to make it like when we get near it, its nose will light up, or maybe then its ears will twitch. Let's get into it. I'm back. Um, I tried to start to code and wire it all together, and I realized that I knew most of it, but definitely not all of it. So and I'm going to invite one of my friends over who can totally help me get Bye. this done. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is figure out how we're going to wire this and code it. I've got my super genius friend Max Myers here, and we're gonna see if we can figure it out. Just so this the little like this twisty thing here, that's a potentiometer, which is basically like a little gate that lets in more or less voltage depending on how you adjust it, so it gives a stronger signal proportionally like to the amount of voltage you let in. trying to figure out where we should put in our servo motor code. Okay, in our va last um, try coding this, our servo seemed very angry and was making kind of like humming noises and it was starting to get hot. We didn't think that should happen, I guess. So right now what we're trying to do is um, figure out how to get it to stop humming when it's not near something. So, it is, so when I cover up the um, ultrasonic sensor, Right now it's spinning like we want our ear to, but when I let go it stops. So it's there, and it's spinning, but then when I go away, it stops. Okay, right now we have finished our code and we added an LED. So right now when we put our hand in front of the sensor, the LED turns on and our motor spins. So if I keep my hand in front of the um, sensor, it'll keep spinning the motor and the LED will stay on, but as soon as I move my hand away, LED and the motor go off. So what we're going to do is we are going to attach um, this earpiece onto um, our motor and we're going to run it along our reindeer and we're going to put the LED on the reindeer's nose so it's a little bit like Rudolph. Okay right now what my dad is doing is soldering. My mom won't let me do this because she's scared I'm going to burn myself. So what we're doing is we're just attaching all the positive wires and the negative wires to the right wires. I figured out on, on all the wiring and all my dad's doing is just soldering. Yep. Okay, all of our soldering is complete. So now when I go like this, our LED turns on and our motor starts spinning. So what we're gonna do now is um, these pins are all stuck in here pretty well, but we need to tape them. So when we grab our reindeer over there, we have our reindeer, um, we will put our um, sensor right here and we'll make a bow tie for it and um, it'll have polka dots so it'll look like those are just two polka dots and um, then what we're going to do is we made a extra ear that has a little bit more support in it aka just a popsicle stick and we're going to grab another popsicle stick and run it this way attach it to our motor and it'll spin Okay, what we just did was um, tape down everything, right? And um, I'm going to plug this in, and I added a little bit of more code. So, if you notice, our LED will go on, and our deer will twitch when we go by it. I made the code so it twitches a little bit faster, and I added a random code so it twitches um, when you're in front of it from every three to like half second. So, if we wait a few, that one was pretty long, that one was pretty quick. This is a long one. That was a fast one. So it just kind of is totally random. And when I get off of it, everything stops. My light goes off and um, my ear start, stops twitching. So now all we've got to do is do a little bit of open surgery on my reindeer, which won't be hard. All we're going to have to do here, let me unplug this. So annoying. <laughs> all right. So we are going to cut off probably his um, left ear 
and um, put a little hole in his nose and run our wires through, make our bow tie, and that should be it. did was we made a little um, bow tie for him and the spots these um, where we do ha where, where we have our two ultrasonic sensor pieces sticking out it almost totally blends in we got our LED up there and oops I put my hand in front of it so you saw the ears twitch and stuff but um, this plugs in right here so if I unplug this it'll stop if I plug it back in and then it goes back also, what we did was we added a little um, hatch on the back so that um, we could take out our 9 volt battery and change it when we need a new one. We drilled in a little bit, um, well not drilled, we used an X-Acto knife to cut out a little piece to put our um, Adreno in and drilled a little hole for the motor. That's about it. Now we're going to use this backboard and um, screw in screw in our um, deer with some screws. We did add a little, we carved it into our foam in the back from last video and um, just had a little chunk of wood in there. So we're just gonna put some screws in. Wow, this reindeer sure looks great. With the plaque we just put on it that we got in the estate sale from the antlers, it looks amazing. I wanna say a huge thanks to my uncle Bob. He helped me make the um, shape for this. He gave me the idea and he um, was gonna do, we were gonna do paper mache on this, but since I like duct tape, we did that. But we used all of his basic ideas. Also, I want to say a big thank you to Max because, like, no way I could have done all that coding without him. Like, huge thanks to him. And the final product, this reindeer sure does look great. Reindeer, Finn, that reminds me of a joke. Oh, no. Where would a reindeer go if it lost its tail? Where? To the retail store to um, buy a new one. That's awful. <sighs> If you like those jokes, hit that like button right now. And if you didn't like those jokes, hit that like button right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!